good news. Residents of Lost and Rust will be benefiting from the installation of streetlights, complements of the Geico Construction and General Services Incorporated, and La Rose Electrical Supplies and Construction. 20 of the lights were handed over to the Ministry of Housing and Water by Chief Executive Officer of Geico, Kamal Singh, while another 10 were pledged by proprietor of La Rose Electrical Supplies and Construction, Kwesi La Rose. Minister within the Ministry of Housing and Water, Honorable Susan Rodriguez, was present at the handing over ceremony. Geico CEO Kamal Singh expressed his satisfaction that he was able to provide the assistance, which will see residents of Lust and Russ benefiting. So over the last two days, we had a grade and a roller working in the village here to get his road to a smooth condition where vehicle can move through very easily. Um, in addition to that, we are also donating today to the village through central housing and planning, 20 street lights that the ministry will choose the pro appropriate location within the community. Managing Director of La Rose Electrical Supplies and Construction, Kwesi La Rose, noted that his company is pleased to be installing the street lights donated by Geico. He also committed to donating 10 more street lights. Because we have so much vandalism and theft, we're going to be customizing it uh, with the slogan CHMPA in a reflective way that you can, from the ground, because there will be, uh, be in an elevated position, we'll be uh, customizing it, CHMPA, so that you can look at any, in any area to see that, okay, this is a central house and planning light and it's not supposed to be here, or this was done with this project and it's supposed to be here. So that's one of the features we'll be bringing in with this new installation. In brief remarks, Minister Rodrigue says that the Turtle street lights will be installed throughout the community. Following my visit last week to the area of the area of Lust and Rust, these gentlemen reached out and said they wanted um, to help in any way that they can. And we sat down through a public-private partnership and we identified identify the roads that were in deplorable um, condition. I want to say thank you um, to these gentlemen for the work that they're doing. And these lights are not going to be received and put down. We already have a team in place that are going to Begin installation immediately. Neil Lederman, Info Hub.